All right, so we have a sheriff's SUV about to smash into an ambulance. You know what we didn't do for the ambulance? Turn on the lights. I think they're on now. Ah, uh, there might be too much lag. Hard to say. I don't see the sending well for either vehicle. I just wanted to let you guys know I am going to be getting a new graphics card, some new RAM, and a CPU cooler. So we will compare the two uh, pre and post footage. Uh, you won't know about this until I have the uh, footage with the new card. But hopefully we can get something pretty identical and we can see if... Holy cow, is that mangled. We can see if I'm expecting it to how much better it will look. Getting a GTX 1060, upgrading from a GTX 660, so uh, hopefully it will make a difference to some extent. The crazy part is it still wants to drive. Oh, the ambulance is lit up, okay. Does the ambulance drive? I don't know. It looks like it should. I, I just don't know about that kind of impact. But hopefully you guys like the new and improved graphics. Because uh, all, all of the uh, games that aren't Hurts of Iron or stuff like that should be looking a little bit better, at least on my rig. Uh, well, hopefully this video will be up later this week and you guys can judge for yourselves. Um, this is the after footage, everyone. I've ran this several times, and this is probably about as close as we are going to get to what happened the first time. I turned on a lot of new advanced features. I'm actually surprised the game is running as well as it is. Uh, that might not be the closest hit, but it is pretty similar to, I think, what happened in the first hit. I mean, there's no way to be 100% exact. But if you notice, I mean, there's like reflections, new details in the vehicles that don't look fake. I mean, they kind of looked fake before, I'm not going to lie. But things just look so much better now. And it's not just BMNG, it's a lot of games. Fallout 4, I can play on Ultra. So for all of you out there wondering if you should upgrade your graphics card because you have like a 600 series or a 700 series, definitely go ahead and do that. A 1060, I got a 1060 mini um, Zotac, it was $239.99 on Amazon. It, it's awesome. I mean it actually uses less power than the 660 I had in my computer before, which is kind of amazing. It definitely is making PC gaming more fun to have that card in, uh, in here so far. I mean, hey, it's pretty realistic to what happened last time. The front of the ambulance got smashed up. It just looks so much more detailed. Hopefully the person in back is still okay. I don't think there is anyone in back. But if there was, hopefully they're still okay. Come on, Sheriff, didn't you see the ambulance lights on? That means you gotta pull over to the side and let the ambulance go. Oops, I, I seriously can't drive still. Alright guys, so if any of you are wondering if it's worth upgrading to a better graphics card, hopefully this quick before and after footage uh, will convince you. Otherwise, I mean, there's nothing wrong with using older cards. They just, you know, the newest features just may not be supported in some games or details. You know, older cards, you know, still console quality, especially compared to like PS3 and Xbox 360 for some games. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think everything looks a lot better. I mean, if we were really to uh, do this, I mean, look at the sh look at the like tech the shader details from like the reflections. This was never on there with the 660. We have reflections. I mean, look, you can see that entire crazy network thing back there. I don't even know how you'd race on that. 
where you can see the trees and the little uh, cube things. I mean, the, the uh, reflection quality here is really impressive. Alright guys, I don't want to bore you too much with the details, just with the visuals. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments, and I hope to see you again shortly. Thanks for watching.